Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. I'm uh, hanging out here with the chickens. Pretty chickens. I'm actually at the scene of a crime. Right here, there's black feathers all over the place. There's some rooster tail feathers out here, so I think that a hawk got a rooster by the look of it. Black rooster, which honestly is just kind of like whatever because, um, you know, as I as I told you guys before, I, I really did have way too many roosters. So, so anyway, it's definitely um, come down quite a bit. Oddly enough, the miniature is still here, so I um, don't really understand that, but... You know, it's here. So, um, so yeah. Oh, roosters, angry roosters. But we do have still quite a few hens. We've got plenty of hens. So, um, so I'm happy about that. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to, um, because the herd has dwindled down quite a bit, um, I am going to take all my hens and separate them, uh, maybe even make two flocks and uh, start the process of, of really keeping them in. And then I'll, I'll have like one area um, <clears throat> where like a gated area where they can be like during the um, daytime and I'll have like a net over the top of it. But uh, other than that, I do want to protect my hens. So... Um, anyway, but, uh, and probably some of the roosters, um, I'll probably keep some of the roosters, but the rest of them, um, the rest of them I'll probably just allow to free range. It's, I think it's important to allow them to free range because they do a lot with managing the pest control. It just sucks that they get taken out so fast. It does feel like... It's a bit of a thing where, like, you get <clears throat> some survivors that just learn to survive, and then they're fine. Um, and so you have to kind of go through this stage where you just, like, you know, you just let some... Um, like, I will say that my original chickens, the buff Brahmas, are, they, they don't lose numbers um, like all the other ones do. So, anyway... Um, that guy's really cool. This dude is like the Lone Ranger. He, he literally, um, lives up in this tree right here. Um, but anyway, but <clears throat> one of them I, I found outside of the coop last night, just hanging out on the ground. And I was like, good Lord. Um, cause I had already closed it up and I don't know where he was. I guess he's just off in the wilderness or something. I'm not sure, but I had to toss him up in there and he's lucky he didn't get got so and I definitely I, I'm pretty sure that I heard what happened this morning I heard this because I told Savannah so I went and I picked up orange collar today I went and I made my pick made my decision of uh, what dog I was going to take out of the Asia litter for the males and, um, really, 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 really excited. Um, I, uh, originally, I thought I was, I was torn between orange collar and dark green collar. But, after talking with, um, my, one of my mentors, um, and getting his advice, um, I realized that, um, or he made me realize that the orange collar boy was the best, and that, um... And that the green collar boy um, just was fantastic. He said they were all really, really, really nice dogs. All of them beautiful. Um, and he said they're very slight differences. Uh, and none of them had any severe faults. All of them are super, super nice dogs. But um, he said that... Um, he said that... Um, that, you know, when you have to make those narrow decisions... Which is why I needed his help. Normally I don't ask for help. Um, in my picking decisions but this time I did because they were all so nice and they were so similar that I really could barely pick out things that I thought were different 
Um, and even then it's really hard to tell sometimes if you're just, if you're imagining things like sometimes it really does help to have someone else's eyes on them, especially someone that has years more experience than I do. Um, and he's familiar with the lines, right? Because I bought Asia from him and I used his stud. So it makes sense that I would, um, go to him for help and, um, and you know, like always he was, he was able to help me out. And in fact, he even offered, I, I originally, I was asking him about the head and then he offered to help me with, with, um, just, you know, the whole process of picking. And so I was really, um, really happy about that. And also I was able to use his, his, um, advice to help the person um, below me as well, because, um, you know, we were trying to figure out which one <clears throat> was the best and, um, uh, out of her litter as well. And, um, and so that's how you knew the baby. Yeah. And that's how we were able to, um, to, to discern that, uh, um, Mm, structure that what you know what my dog was and then um and then she has yet to choose her dog it's between these two dogs it's like I said very slight differences I think the only difference is that one of them has a slightly better upper arm than the other one but they're still extremely nice dogs and it's a and it's really a preference thing you know what I mean it's a it's a very much a preference thing um, at this point. And the cool thing is that I actually have, uh, not cool, but whatever, but I did have a, um, the person that was fifth pick dropped out and, uh, male and this, this litter, there's five top males. They're all extremely similar in size. Um, and they are, um, just very big and very correct dogs. Absolutely. Every single one of them could be grand champion, you know, all the way up show dogs and would be an, a great addition to anyone's program. So I'm going to offer him, um, to, um, to, to somebody who's looking for a really high quality stud, um, you know, for their program. <clears throat> hey, baby. Hey, good baby boy. Your baby boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes. Yes. I just had to start the bonding. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because I didn't get to raise you, so I got to get to know you. Let me see. There's something really special whenever you are there from the moment they're born. And, you know, it just, um, it's, it's not something everybody gets to do, obviously. But, um, but anyway, but it's. It's something that, um, you know, I like to do whenever I can. I didn't get to do it on this litter, but, um, you know, um, he's, uh, he's old enough to come home. He's completely weaned and, um, almost just barely under eight weeks old. So, <clears throat> and I guess it makes sense cause his mom's here anyway. <laughs> so, um. Not that he's nursing. She's completely dried up, so. Need your baby. Need your baby. I had to for uh, for Zoe. Zoe is going to go off at any minute, man. I don't know. She's she's just holding out. Reese keeps calling me thinking she's coming in, and then I go over there, and then boom, nothing happens. So, I mean, it can happen that way. It is the way it is, but um, but anyway. Dude, look at that. Look at that barred rock. He is a good rooster. He just He just watches over. Just watches. Hopefully he's mean enough. He looks big enough to fight off what's out here. I keep hearing, um, I keep hearing what I think is, um, an eagle. It's not the, it's not that classic red-tailed hawk thing that we were hearing back here. It's very much the sound of like, uh, like bald eagles. I haven't seen any here, but that's what it sounds like. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Warning everyone. He's a good rooster. He's pretty, too. He's like, watch out, ladies. Watch out. He said, keep your eyes open. Yeah, hopefully he makes it. The other ones didn't. He's the only one I got left. And I think I had... Gosh, I think I had... Um, five of them. Because I got five of everything to start. What you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. 
Good baby boy. Good baby boy. You're toasty. You're toasty. Oh, hold on. Sorry. You're a toasty boy. You're hot. You're in the sun. You're hot. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Well, anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I just thought you might enjoy. I was out here just spending some time with the chickens, waiting on Savannah to come home and spending time with this new guy that I just picked up and I'm in love with. So, very happy. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.